Joyce from Floresville has a question about her dirty stone. It is dirty. She built a house with Austin limestone, that white stone. Yeah. And Joyce writes to us that years ago, I heard you explain, you, Tom, how to clean Austin limestone without harming its appearance. You know, at the time, we were building our house with the limestone's exterior, and I just knew, she says, I would remember for years down the road what you said and be ready to clean it from the, you know, the contaminants of nature. Mm. Well, it's been years. Like nature has done its job, and her memory hasn't stood the test. So Me neither. I have no idea. <laughs> no, I do. I mean, I know how to clean it, but I couldn't tell you exactly what I said how many years ago that was. So my views might have changed, but Joe Max and a light pressure wash is the way to go. I don't know if I don't know if I said that. I could have told her laundry detergent. You know what this means? There's a lot of different ways you know to clean stone. Your your days of being a, uh, a expert witness are done. Oh, I gave that up a long time ago. <laughs> Who said that? Who said? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't know. What do you but want me to say? A little Joe Max. If all the directions has a great uh, pre-clean and then a real light pressure wash, and I know the stone will clean up nice. It works on brick too, and gets rid of the mold and mildew also. Uh, I might have told you one time a light uh, pressure wash with laundry detergent works fine, too. Just make sure it doesn't have a lot of coloring in there. Uh, but usually just a light pressure wash will take care of it. It just gets down in the pores. And you're on some fun. You use Mr. Bubble and just bring the kids out there. Mr. And... Bubble. Man, i got to get okay. some of that. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Hey, you're looking for more helpful answers. Yeah, you find hot them. tub. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Bubble in the hot tub. Yeah. I have a friend of mine who uh, uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, he took he took a, like a case of it and poured it in the Mecham Fountain. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. My hot tub. <laughs> okay. All right, kids. You want more questions and answers? You can find them at homeshowradio.com. You'll find these under the Ask Tom tab. That's where we keep them.